is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to New Day. Starting things off is a new show from the award-winning actor and pianist Hershey Felder. Hershey Felder as Irving Berlin takes the audience through the life of the man known as America's composer. The show just opened at Seattle Repertory Theater. And here with a preview look, welcome Hershey Felder. For this little segment, I'll begin with uh, some dialogue that Irving Berlin himself said as we lead into the song, and I hope you're going to sing along, which is what audiences do all over the world. So here's how Irving Berlin introduced this. It was 1938, and we weren't yet feeling here at home what they were feeling overseas, that this great huge war was brewing. And what no one wanted whatsoever in any shape or form here at home was any kind of involvement in any sort of war. And that really got me to thinking about a song that I had composed exactly 20 years before that I stuffed away in the trunk because my musical secretary said, Jesus, Irving, there's nothing left to be said about anything patriotic. <laughs> so when the singer Kate Smith called looking for a song to celebrate Armistice Day in 1938, I went and I dug that song out of the trunk. And that's the song I gave her. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to our land that's free. Let us all be grateful for our land so fair. of you just like we do at the baseball stadium. Here we go, and God bless America. And I love stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountain to the prairie, to the ocean, void with home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless It's a very personal song for me. The lyrics aren't the land that we love, they're the land that I love. So as a gift back to this country that I love so much, I donated all future rights and royalties of this song in perpetuity to the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America.
Incredible, totally unrehearsed, they, totally exactly. natural. We all a pleasure to, sing to meet with you. you. Have a seat. Thank you, thank so you so is much. Is there more to the story, the backstory to donating the the proceeds? Yeah, the, the, the one, one of the things that I, I got to do when creating this show was I met the family, and they became oh, very wow. close friends. They sort of adopted me as their father son, <laughs> which is a little <laughs> bit, more, you know, um, a time traveler. A time travel, and the. Uh, the three daughters, when I met them, you know, uh, were really remarkable. We lost the, la the youngest one, believe it or not, in her sleep last year. She just, she was healthy and she died last year. But they confirmed for me something very important, that all of this patriotism, all of this um, <laughs> jingoism, even all this kind of stuff, it was genuine for him. He got off the boat when he was five years old. He came from Pogrom, Russia. His village had just burned down. And um, he remembers the Statue of Liberty. And for the entire rest of his life, he wanted to give thanks to this country. And part of that donation, now imagine this, people standing in 9-11 singing that song mm -hmm. all over the world in baseball stadiums, everywhere, and really um, capturing the spirit of America, and he never received a cent for it. Wow. And this was the very real man in his essence. What a patriot, what a tremendous human right. being. And that was real. And so that's a good part of the backstory. He yeah. wanted to give thanks to this country that he believed gave him everything. It is a patriot story. It's an immigrant story mm -hmm. as well and very timely. It certainly um, to is. To think about that, right? Sir, absolutely. So that, you just spoke to it, the tremendous research, research that goes mm -hmm. into sure. the person. And this is not the only show like this you've done. You've done this with Chopin and other. Chopin, Beethoven, Bernstein, Franz. List Tchaikovsky, Good grief. Um, uh, George Gershwin, which is where it all started, yeah. and it's it's been 25 years and over 5,000 performances all over the world. And what a thrill to be in Seattle! I've always known about Seattle. I've loved Seattle. I was here when I was a kid. I played one concert when I was really? 19. Really, haven't been back since. You know, the schedule never worked, and I kept on getting asked. And I have to tell you, we're now in the fifth performance or six. I started last weekend. Mm -hmm. The most generous audiences, the kindest people. It's really yeah. a great, great city. Thoughtful audiences. They love to sing. We as are, you aren't we? <laughs> the, and the Rep's you know? such a great place. But the I'm Rep so is glad such you're a beautiful theater. Well, uh, tell me what else we'll see in the show. And I, let me backtrack on sure. that a little bit. It's. It's such an immersive experience mm -hmm. because we learn history. We learn, mm -hmm. um, you know, your interpretation of, of the man, his voice, his thoughts, sure. and his music. It is just this all-encompassing mm -hmm. kind of show. Uh, what is that like for you as an artist and for the audience? Well, you know, this is a particularly interesting time. We're living with a very really fractious uh, society. Yes. We really don't. It's, it's amazing what audiences say after to remember what America stands for always, to, no matter what side of things you're on, right. to remember that this is what America really stands for and, and what patriotism really means about the giving back, not the taking, which is what Irving Berlin, yeah. Irving Berlin did. And, you know, it was a lot of research because this fellow lived till he was 101 years old. Wow. He died in 1989, <laughs> born in, in 1880. So that's a long, a long, long time. You know, 232 top 10 hits, 25 number one songs. That's amazing I mean, stuff, the, isn't it? He gave America its voice and he was an immigrant boy. And I've always told this very uh, risky joke, but I'll tell it anyway to you. Do it. Do it. You know, very <laughs> risque. You know, we talk about walls and keep people in and out, you know. The fact of the matter is, if a wall would have been built and there would have been no over in Berlin, what would the Catholics sing on the holidays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took you a moment. What you think of? What you think of? I'm laughing on behalf of my Catholic husband. You know, <laughs> but you know, you think of of White Christmas and you think of Easter Parade. These are yeah. classic Amazing songs things. that he really gave voice to at a time because. That's the thing about America. He was able to come here and take the sound of the country, mm -hmm. the sound of the people, and give it back to them in poetry and music. And, and in so doing, we actually think that some of his songs are folk songs. But no, they come from a real person right. who had trials and tribulations. And being able to play that, being able to literally play from the age of five, which is where the play starts, till 101 every night, is really a wonderful thing it's and remarkable. Um, it's it's a lot of fun to be with the audience because it's something that happens interactively and uh, 
it gives people uh, hope that things are all going to be okay no matter what you think and what side you're on right. of things. And it's going to be okay. Will. And it also reminds us that being an American is not about the piece of land where you were born, but no. the ideals that you embrace. And you know, this notion of, you know, it's the Kennedy notion is what you can do for your country, you know? I love and it. really, Berlin, he, he epitomized that. In, and I, I'm very proud to be able to play him because it means so much. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing thank it. You. Everybody's going to want to come. May, thank you. You're a thank gift. Thank you. Thank you. May You're I invite the audience? Please. Well, I just want to say that if you leave your name at the door, you and a guest will be able to come as my guests wow. to this performance over the next week. So I'm go we're going to leave a pad here, and I'm going to make sure, and then I want you to tell all your friends if it's something you really enjoy. Thank, thank you for singing. Thank you very much. That is so kind. What a gift. All right, you can see Hershey Felder as Irving Berlin through March 18th at the Seattle Rep, and you can find ticket links on our website or make friends with one of these people <laughs> quickly. After the break, how people are rethinking retirement and discovering a new level of fulfillment, what we all want. Back in a moment. Thank you.